Hey, welcome back to Hoffman Leatherworks. Today we're going to be working on a Hellcat inside the waistband leather holster. To start off, I'm going to be making a few here. So we'll start off. In this case, I used a laser and just essentially printed the pattern on on the leather itself. I do that a lot. I, I don't care to actually have the laser cut the leather so I just set it at the low setting and and you know make a mark on it and then I I have all my information instead of using paper patterns I still do that from time to time but so and in this pattern pack that or the pattern that you'll receive there will be the uh, SVG files that you, you know you can do the same but of course you'll have the standard patterns on paper too that you can always you know print and and use that if you don't have a laser cutter or, you know feel free to use those laser files however you you need to so got it all punched out and go ahead and cut it out like i said i actually have several of these going out and i thought i'd i'd film it so we'll be doing multiples at the same time but So I'm just, uh, you know, getting everything cut out, and you can see the, the back piece I have there for the the clip that I'm using. Yours will probably be different. There's so many of them out there, so you just kind of have to go with whatever kind of clip you choose to to, to um, use. But I skipped the dyeing process on this one. We show that sometimes, but you know, it's kind of the same, and everyone has their own techniques. And so now I'm just kind of gluing the edge here real fast using my awls to to line up the holes put some clips on there to kind of hold it in place while i stitch it so this is it after it's been all stitched up and and ready to go i just throw it in uh my little bucket of water there for a few minutes it can be cool cool water warm water some people say it has to be you know very warm water I don't think there's a difference you know cold cold water cool water hot water whatever so anyway go ahead and do that and I'll get it wet and put it in the press here's just two pieces of wood with some foam in there I use um 600 pound clamps four of them get it clamped down really good Leave that sit. It again doesn't matter. Sometimes I leave them sit for hours, sometimes half an hour, kind of whatever the, my production schedule for the day is. This one was about a half hour, I think. And I do have several of these presses here with, you know, a bunch of clamps, so I'll do multiples at, you know, at the same time, but so you see here it comes out. Gets pretty good definition. We'll go back and, you know, kind of do some of it by hand while it's still wet. I won't show you the whole process, but you get the you get the picture. Again, this is for the Hellcat inside the waistband. And kind of depending, you know, upon the process and how things go. In this particular case, now I'm just kind of cleaning up the edges. We'll be working on that. It's already, you know, dried. I let it dry for a few hours. I dry it in a little toaster oven at really low temperatures. And some of these videos will show that and, and some don't. So go ahead and kind of re-dye the, re the edges. And what I use is just saddle soap and a little sponge. Get that edge, you know, damp. Soften it a little bit before we'll you know, finish working on the edges. I have, I use a Dremel on these edges and hand. So I'll start off with the Dremel with a little slicker on that. Kind of go through the first pass. Everything's still fitting good. And then I'll do some hand work on it and this one here, I'm giving it a nice coat of oil 
once it's been in the water, it hardens up, and, and you, you know, you do want it a little bit hard, and you want it to stay that way. But I give it a nice shot of Neat's foot oil and let that dry for a little bit. So if you're new to the channel, remember to hit the subscribe and the like button and the alert button. We'll have a lot more videos coming out. So here I just use um, a little spray. Give it the final sealing coat. Hit it with the spray. I use the air gun. You can wipe it on, daub it on, however you, you, know, you need to. Hit it with a little horsehair brush. There you go. Have a nice, nice fitting Hellcat holster. Yeah.